anything is not to your liking, I'll change it. The Long Island mansions that exemplify the era captured in F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby helped inspire the look of director Baz Luhrmann's latest film version. They were, they were an expression of the orgy of money, as Fitzgerald said, flowing into this city. Some of the 1920s New York Fitzgerald describes still exists. One of the best preserved examples of Long Island's Gold Coast is Ohika Castle. German-born financier Otto Kahn built the 127-room estate as a summer home. The lavish uh, homes that were on Long Island were definitely a tremendous inspiration for F. Scott Fitzgerald. And what was going on here, real, this was the greatest concentration of wealth in the world at the time was on the North Shore of Long Island. Today, Ohika is a boutique hotel and wedding venue, but people from all over the world still come to be transported back in time. There's this wonderful feeling of you can touch and feel this and experience it in today's world um, and know a little bit of what it was like back then in the 1920s. Minutes away from Ohika in the village of Great Neck, the home Fitzgerald once lived in still stands. And nearby in Sands Point, where many think Fitzgerald got his inspiration for the fictional town of East Egg, you can see the skyline of New York City its architecture rooted in the excess of the era. Skyscrapers like the Chrysler Building with its zigzagging metal motif and gargoyles towered over the bustling city below. Dimly lit lobbies and ornate decorations from the entrance to the elevators defined Art Deco buildings. These Art Deco skyscrapers in a way were the last grand expression of this uh, remarkable time that we call the Roaring Twenties when people like Gatsby uh, or his the, fact, the factual equivalent of Gatsby, uh, were out there. So while the sun has set on much of Fitzgerald's New York, enough of it still exists for those looking for the world of Gatsby to catch a glimpse. David Martin, Associated Press.